Give me maggots with the pump. Daddy, daddy. Two of those guys. Two of those. And the moose has been true with no knife. You got status back. Piss a nigga on your charm. Those are killers. Yeah. Who done let you in? Yeah. Next to Rihanna, like, oh shit. Hey. Thought this was always the plan. Yeah. Close it. See, cause I can't. Thought this was always the plan. Did it, I do it again. You know, it's always the plan. What's going on, everyone? It's Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. So it's currently 10 o'clock in the morning. Woke up around 30 minutes ago, so kind of late, but I'm really trying to do my best to catch up on the sleep that I missed on back at school. But with that being said, it's currently the morning. I'm making some coffee. Just got ready and everything. Hopped out of the shower. And check it out. So you guys saw me make a big breakfast, right, for my first meal of the day, my last video, right? But you guys were so used to seeing the intermittent fast for the first two to four hours of the day, so not eating anything at all. But here's the thing, guys. I just listen to my body. So yesterday I woke up really, really hungry, and I knew I was going to train in two hours, you know, etc. So I just listened to my body, and I ate. I don't necessarily follow practice to, like, by the book, die hard on it, you know what I mean? Today, I'm not so hungry in the morning, so why would I eat a big meal? I'm going to go ahead and just fast for the first two hours, see how I feel after two hours, after I'm drinking a coffee and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with some black coffee, and then I measured my uh, blood sugar. And you guys saw it was 110, so everything's good with that. And solid start to the morning. I'm gonna be sure also I drink a ton of water. I notice when I fast in the morning, I drink a whole lot of water, like 50% more, just because, um, I don't know, I'm kinda like filling up my stomach or something. But anyway, I'm gonna do that. Uh, we got some plans for today. We might, I don't know, what are we gonna do? Make gains, obviously. That's just a given on our schedule. Drink coffee, make gains. Drink coffee, make gains. Might go to Walmart, pick up Call of Duty or something. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and down the computer for the first hour and do a lot of work so I'll see you guys when I eat or whatever happens. Alright so it's around 2.30 p.m. just prepared my first meal of the day. And it's pretty big, but it's freaking epic. Check it out, guys. I have seven egg beaters with some salsa on top, and then I also have two whole eggs. And look at this. This is an organic spinach cake. Actually, I know it looks <laughs> really, really weird. Actually, it does not look appetizing one bit, but it's super, super good. I tried one of these the other day, and the macros are actually really, really good. Only 70 calories for one cake. So three grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, two grams of protein. Really, really good on the macros. And it kind of tastes like a potato potato cakes are like some kind of spinach hash brown. So definitely, definitely well worth it. That's my first portion of the meal. Then I have a freaking huge bowl of oats, 120 grams, with some of that sugar-free syrup and some strawberries, some cocoa, some sweeteners, some cinnamon. You already know the chocolate proats, or not proats because they don't have protein powder in them, but super good. That's my first meal of the day. Pretty big, but as usual, I like to keep my meals big. I'm not gonna eat for another like five, six hours after this, so that's just kind of um, what I do. And you know, it spends less time in the kitchen, less time eating, all that stuff, and it's just a lot more enjoyable. Who likes to eat five, six small meals a day? Even when you're bulking, nobody likes to do that. I like to sit down and eat a lot at one sitting. Like, look at this. This is just so much food. It's so much fun. Who does not love to eat? So, it's like never ending. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, eat this. Me and my brother, we're gonna go get a workout in. It's Sunday, usually Sunday's our off day, but we were kinda slacked in the gym a little bit because we were so busy this past week, so we missed a workout. We're gonna get some extra volume with some arms and then do cardio and abs. So I'll be sure to take you guys through that. I'll see you there, peace. Okay, so I got to the gym around 20 minutes ago, and I know I'm all sweaty right now. That's because I just got done doing cardio. I know you guys haven't heard that in a while. Cardio. I actually haven't done cardio in probably like a full 7 to 10 days. Not a single cardio session. Just because I was really busy that last week of school coming up to break. But now that I'm here, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I've actually been doing great. Like my, I've been hitting a great caloric bowl like perfect lean bulk, right? But I know Thanksgiving damage is definitely gonna be done. It's gonna be like a great cheat day, obviously Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna do cardio maybe like two or three times leading up to break, or Thanksgiving day. And what I do is, actually my brother's doing that right now, he's finishing up. I put the incline at around 10 to 12, actually probably around like 12 to 14, and then I put the speed to around three to 3.2. Efficiently burns calories, guys. I finished 300 calories burned 
in just under 20 minutes. So uh, definitely a great way to burn a ton of calories in a short amount of time and it gets your sweat going. It's a form of low intensity steady state cardio. So try it out. If you can't do like 12 to 14 inclines, start to around like 10 and like three speed and then just like build it up, you know? Anyway, so we're gonna do a little bit of a arm volume session just for some more high pressure feet, some gains and uh, yeah. Run up the cash already. I need the bag already. Fuck up the raps till I'm zoomin' straight to the racks in the money Run up the cash already I need the bag already So I'm not gonna lie, it's only been like a full hour since I ate that massive, massive meal So I'm a little bit uncomfortable right now But just because I haven't done cardio in like a full week's time uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check my blood sugar right now I'm feeling a little bit weird It may just be like, you know, the bloatness of all that food and like training in under an hour, but I'm gonna go ahead and check my blood sugar and make sure things are okay. Lord knows how I get it. Freak goes in a tenant. I reload till I'm finished. Hey, where do we go? Baby, been a bad. Okay, wow. So blood sugar is 53. You see, the crazy thing is I felt a little bit weird, but I didn't get that low blood sugar feeling. Probably because like I was so full. You know what I mean? So all you diabetics out there, make sure you still check because you can have a lot of mixed emotions about your feelings with low blood sugar. But 53, that is really low so I'm gonna go ahead grab a Gatorade and uh, chug that probably wait 10 minutes and uh, you know what ah, the fruits of our fucking labor guys type 1 warriors out there stay strong <laughs> and also if you are diabetic and you're watching this that's why I do not recommend doing what I just did eating a huge huge meal and having obviously to take a good amount of insulin for that meal and then training like 45 minutes to an hour after that. Make sure you give yourself two to three hours for your body to comprehend that insulin. And um, you know, obviously uh, you can check your blood sugar before you work out and things will be a lot more accurate. Uh, yeah, I'm done talking about this. Let's go ahead and just get you done. <laughs> We just finished our arm routine. I uh, just kind of did like a little bit of an edit. Didn't want to just take you guys talk through every single exercise. But you know, just three bicep exercises, three tricep exercises. Starting heavy, worked our way to lighter weight, more reps for more volume. Now we're doing abs. We're gonna do what, three exercises? Yeah. Three exercises, yeah, one for the upper, one for the lower. Both upper and lower will be weighted. And then one oblique, just for some detail. No, dude, it feels your obliques big time. God. All right, let's gonna wrap up the workout, guys. We're gonna, what are we doing now? I think we might go to like Walmart or something. Ease up after this workout, maybe uh, get a little surprise. I'll show you guys in a second. Oh. be on one. No bags is never close for comfort. I need a bed, I need some commas. Shit, I can't pass up on another. Oh, snap. Some Call of Duty action. Whoa. Whoa. What'd you, what'd you get, bro? We'll find out. <laughs> Got a nice old purchase from the good old Walmart. We don't buy games often, but yeah. this one. Yeah, guys, honestly, well worth. Well I, worth. I do not remember the last time I purchased a video game. Seriously, it's been a while. So it's okay. We're going to spoil ourselves a little bit and like, have well some fun. This is our, uh, yeah, I, I feel like we don't. Because at night, we're just like, oh, okay, let's watch a movie, you know, have a little like leeway downtime. But we want to like play a little game, so we figured this Call of Duty's pretty kick-ass. Heard some good reviews about it, oh, so yeah. we're gonna on the PS4, by the way. 
Yeah. Way better next week. Check Make it later. out, guys. Got a post workout meal. Got salad, white rice. And look at this, look at this. You ready? Some good old steak. Steak on deck. Man, so much steak. We have steak for days, bro. <laughs> oh man. We are living life. Run up the cash already. I need the bag already. Fuck up the raps till I'm zoomin' straight to the racks in the money. Run up the cash already. I need the bag already. Turn on the feet. Behold your eyes, my friends. We have got the most epic post-workout meal you can ever, ever make. We got eight ounces of filet mignon, some broccoli, and around 300 grams of white rice. Some steak sauce on the rice it actually tastes really, really good. And then we have some salad, probably the best freaking tasting salad I've ever had. I think there's like balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, light balsamic vinaigrette because lean hashtag lean gains and then uh, some lemon juice and I'm not too sure what else But super super good lots of vegetables in there and my mm. bro's got the same thing except he's got some extra steak and more rice because more gains and um, Yeah, that is freaking post-workout meal probably the best thing uh, I've had in a long time as Chris Jones would say don't be jealous man Don't be jealous make your own but seriously. I can't wait to eat this <laughs> I'll be sure to show you guys my last meal today, which will probably be in like three hours. This is pretty big, so got uh, some room to let this digest. I need a bed, I need some commas. Shit, I can't pass up on another. Boy, don't be ooh, ooh, baby. That is a perfect cut of steak. All right, time to try this bad boy out. See what all the hype's about. <laughs> Oh, what's going on everyone? So I realized that I did not have an ending for this vlog, so I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video right over here. However, before I do, I really wanna address a quick subject, or at least a topic that I've been getting a ton of questions on. Now I'm talking about like questions on a daily, even hourly basis when it comes to my Instagram DMs. If you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, diabetic.aesthetics. But yeah, a ton of questions on my Instagram DMs, my emails, um, the comment section, especially after like my whole how to lose belly fat in one week video went viral. It's got like almost 2 million views now. And uh, people always ask me the same question. So first of all, they'll always ask me to critique their physiques and they'll send me like physique picture updates I mean without me asking which is no problem But they'll send like pictures of their, of their physique and they'll be like hey man How how'd you transform your body in just 16 weeks? How did you get ripped? How'd you build all that muscle mass? Here's my physique I want to do the same exact thing you did for uh, 16 weeks uh, Where do I get started and what do you think about it? You know these people are most likely beginners even most of the time intermediates Maybe they've been lifting for two years three years, but for the most part they don't have much muscle mass to begin with at all and here's the problem they think that getting shredded you know going on a long 16 week cut like I did myself they're gonna get all that muscle and they're gonna get that dream physique that has been implanted in their brain you know by by like tons of YouTube videos by tons of Instagram models because let me tell you one thing when I first started my journey years ago the number one person like I looked up to the number one thing I even saw on YouTube on YouTube was a YouTube video that I immediately like my jaw dropped and I was like this is what I want to look like this is like I'll, I'll clearly look like this after a year and it was Jeff side it was like a video of Jeff side some kind of like aesthetics video I think he was like posing in public and like you know being a sick kid and all but no seriously just look like a god right and uh, it was like his whole transformation everything and I was like wow if I do what he's gonna do maybe I'll look like him you know if I train hard for a year and like get shredded right I, I immediately thought weight loss was gonna get me to where I need like to, to get to his look right so if I was like you know what maybe if I like lost 16 pounds or something 15 20 pounds got completely diced I would look like that and I'd have that muscle that is completely false guys honestly uh, the video by the way the title of this might be like Jeff side ruined my physique or like Jeff side ruined my body so hopefully you guys don't just completely dislike this video hear what I have to say I'm totally kidding this is not like a hate speech towards Jeff side he's a freaking sick awesome dude I'd love to meet him one day but more of the story Jeff side ruin my body no I'm kidding but on all seriousness so I'd look at these videos and I'd be like okay all I have to do is cut and um, I'm gonna look like that but that's not the case at all here's the problem so many people don't have any muscle mass nothing or lean muscle mass to support a cut they don't have anything to show for even like most of the time if you're like 15 to 20 percent body fat if you think that like getting shredded or like losing that 20 25 pounds of body fat you're gonna have your dream physique and have all that muscle mass that's not the case guys you really have to take time to build a physique this is what I want to show with this like little mini winter bulking series hopefully what I can show you with what I'm doing when it comes to bulking 
how to do things as a natural, you know, somebody with not the best genetics. Because let me tell you guys one thing. Someone like Jeff Side, he's got top tier genetics. Like, whatever. You guys can say whatever. Steroids, this, that. Just look at his pictures when he was, like, 16 years old. 15 years old. The guy had a better body or at least, like, a body that was mature enough to look like an adult. You see what I'm saying? So he's got, like, god tier genetics. 90% of you, 95% of you, 99.9% .9 of you will never look like that. It, end of story. So also, I want this to be like a message. Don't use other people's bodies as your motivation. You should just strive to achieve the best possible body you can on a daily basis, right? And just strive for better progression, just constant progress. So that's a problem because so many people, when, when they sign up for my online coaching too, they always tell me, okay, this is my goal physique. This person is how I wanna look like. And it sucks because I really have to break that myth in their mind and kind of shift their mindset and tell them that's not gonna happen. And that is not what you should be focusing on. So that's why I really wanna also do this video for like clients and future clients to tell you guys that that's not how this works. And most of the time, you don't even need to be losing body fat or focusing on a cut. You need to look at the bigger picture as, as a natural athlete, as someone with not God tier genetics. You know, for the majority, vast majority of the public, 90, 95% of people, you need to look at the bigger picture and the bigger frame of things and like focus on lean bulking, you know, putting on like one to two pounds a month for a long, long period of time, maybe like one to two years like I did for like 18 straight months. And then once you have that muscle, your, your performance is skyrocketing in the gym, your strength is, is, is is phenomenal for your body weight, for your size. Then you can like afford, you, you or more essentially, you've earned the right to cut. Then you're gonna look great. And trust me, you're gonna be proud of the physique that you achieve. It's definitely not gonna look like Jeff's side, and it probably never will. But um, yeah, that's kind of like what I wanted to touch on. And uh, like I said, I the title might be a little over exaggerated and thumbnail for this video, but please don't give the video this like. I just want to open people's minds on this. And like I said, with this winter bulking thing, these episodes hopefully shows you a little bit into my lifestyle. You know, as as somebody even with with just average genetics, as someone going after it and uh, understanding that you need to bulk. You know, the majority of your physique is created in this phase, this gaining phase. The cut is just kind of to like sculpt it all. You know, and it, it, it should never be the large majority of things. You should never be dieting at all times. That's only like 15% of the time uh, when it comes to achieving a great body. But anyways, rant over, moral of the story, Jeff's side ruined my physique. I'm just totally kidding. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and enjoyed this kind of little rant and you're enjoying these vlogs. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a like. If uh, you really enjoyed it, be sure to give it a share. Tell your friends, your family, spread on your social media pages, spread the YouTube channel. Let's grow together, guys. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Got tons of more content coming. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned. Oh yeah, also one thing I wanted to mention, be sure you take advantage of the Black Friday sale on my website, www.diabeticaesthetics.com. All of my online coaching services, the 8, 12, 16 week programs, and personalized meal plans and workout plans are 20% off. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. And I would love to help you on this phase, especially during this time. I know a lot of people are struggling on how to do a proper lean bulk. So I'd love to work with you, get you to where you wanna be the right, the proper way, most simple way, most minimalistic approach. And uh, you know, need, don't need to say anything more about that. And also be sure to check out the new brand apparel. If you pick up a shirt, or a tank, or both, you get a chance to uh, win free six weeks one-on-one -on -one online coaching as you will be included in a raffle. And I'll be choosing a winner by the end of the week. So be sure you take advantage of that Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale going on on my website. Much love, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Shit, I can't pass up on another